Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I know a lot of you are out there fighting the crowds for the Black Friday sales, getting all your stuff on for Christmas and everything else, and go ahead, have fun with it and all that. I'm not going to be part of that rat race. Just not. That's just me. I've got work to do in my workshop. In fact, you know, my Christmas presents are going to be handmade, crafted stuff. Aha! Yeah, that kind of works. That, that, and of course, gift cards are always really good because I suck at trying to figure out what somebody wants. I, I don't know what he wants other than damn Gina. I don't know what else he wants. Oh, you know what I want? What? Henderson. Peyton Henderson? That's my guy. Oh. That's my guy. Okay. All right. So, wait a minute. You do have a player's jersey you actually want. I always liked him to shy. He's like, he's like, you know, go uh, somebody gathers. stealthy asked me, <laughs> what player's jersey should he, does Michael like? And I asked him, like, what player? I don't want nobody's. Because, see, he wants the ability to be able to cuss somebody out and say, get out. I, I, that's, I was just like, okay. Um, speaking of saying cussing people out and wanting to get rid of them, last night watching the game, you know, it's funny because I think Cowboy fan standards are unobtainable. That literally at the drop of a hat, they are ready to, like Michael, throw you overboard, get rid of you, tar and feather you, and literally beat the crap out of you. It just, it just is to the point where it doesn't matter what a person does. They already get them out of here as a bum. You know, I can look around at quarterback situations right now in the NFL, and they're not good this year. I mean, you look at, say, like, let's take the Carolina Panthers, for example, who, you know, they did have Cam Newton, but got old and all that. And so they tried to go out and get a former number one pick in um, Sam Darnold. That didn't work. They turned around and traded for another former number one pick in um, – Faker Mayfield, and they're still trying to figure out what they're going to do. I mean, you look at the commanders who went out there and tried to get, you know, Carson Wentz after they've gone through Alex Smith and, you know, they've drafted RG3 and um, rest his soul, uh, can't remember his name, uh, number one pick that they had. They've Haskins. gone, yeah, Dwayne Haskins. Uh, I'm getting old and forgetful. And They've been trying over and over and over again. And finally, they seem to find something with eyebrows with the Heineke, not Heineken, Heineke. And um, they're actually doing some good things with him. But you look at him and you're, you're like, I don't know how they're winning with that guy. They just are. They just are motivated by him. It's hard to get a quarterback. And so last night in the first half where the Cowboys, you know, Dak had a couple of interceptions. And they're oh, he's a noodle arm. He's a noodle arm. He's a bum. He can't read defenses. He sucks, man. Where's where's Cooper Rush? Put Cooper Rush in. Get rid of Dak. He sucks. Listen, I get accused of saying, Mark Holmes, you're just a Dak Prescott. You, you, there's nothing he does, does that you won't talk about, that you just are all in. And, and you're killing the team because of what you think about Dak Prescott. Well, first of all, the Cowboys aren't listening to what I say about Dak Prescott. They're just not. If the Cowboys were listening to me, then we would have gotten Calais Campbell, Calais Campbell when he was leaving the Arizona Cardinals. We would have signed that guy on our defensive line because we've just realized that stopping the run is important. If they listened to me, they would have gotten Demario Davis instead of drafting Leighton Vanderesh. Demario Davis, who hasn't missed a game, a game, since he left the Jets and has got like 100 and. 20 tackles and like six sacks every year but they don't listen to me i am just a guy who's here giving you my opinion okay and this is my opinion it may not be right may not be your opinion but it's mine i own it and i'm free to have that but listen all right if you've got a better solution that's going to work by all means, then, then I, I'm, I, I'm willing to listen because I remember people last year, Cowboys, just trade Dak Prescott. Let's get Russell Wilson. We'll go to the Super Bowl. We get Russell Wilson. Cricket, 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 cricket. How's that working right now?
I remember people saying, I'd take Baker Mayfield over Dak Prescott. I remember people saying, I'd take Johnny Manziel over Dak Prescott. How those work? Hell, I remember Skip Bayless talking about uh, shit. Can't remember him. Found out Jacksonville is a tight end. He'd take him over Dak Prescott. Oh, I remember, you know, people talking about Carson Wentz. He's a he's a, a um, Ferrari versus Dak Prescott being a Corvette. Be that as it may. Let me ask you this. Which of these quarterback statistics would you like to have for your, your quarterback right now? Which one? Would you like to have a guy who has... In the last five games, this is just five games. There's five games, last five that they played. A 59.6 completion percentage, a 58.9 completion percentage, or a 74.1 completion percentage. Which one would you want to have? 59.6, 58.9, 74.1. Okay. How about this? In the last five games, would you rather have six TDs, five TDs, or 10 TDs to go along with seven interceptions? So six TDs, seven interceptions, five TDs, and three interceptions, or 10 TDs and five interceptions? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at math. I think 10 TDs and five interceptions is better than six TDs and seven interceptions. I think it's better than five TDs and three. That, that's just me. Maybe if you think differently, then, then comment below. Yards per game, 234.6, 191.2, or 251.8. Okay. Rating, would you rather have your quarterback, a quarterback that has 76.34 rating over the last five games, 83.84 for the last five games, or a 107.36? I'm I'm betting you'd want the 107.36. All right, so points per game. Would you rather have the guy that has 26.6, 21.4, or 33.8? Would you rather have the guy who is 3 and 2 the last five games, 4 and 1, or 4 and 1? Because what I gave you there is I gave you the statistics for Josh Allen. Through the course of the last five games with Buffalo, who survived? They survived getting out of Detroit. Josh Allen, right now, they've had four out of five red zone trips where they've had an interception. Josh Allen, who in overtime, threw an interception in the end zone that would have won the game. Josh Allen, who had a team that everybody thought for a while was the best team in football. Josh Allen, who's got the best, maybe one of the best receivers in digs and has weapons galore. Josh Allen, who's got a 76.34 rating. Would you rather have him right now for your quarterback? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Oh, I I know, I know, I know, I know. He's injured. He's injured. You know, Dak has had a little injury this year, too. He's had a broken thumb, and he's only been back for five games. The numbers that I gave you, the 74%, 74.1 completion percentage, that's Dak. The 10 TDs, that's Dak. Five interceptions, that's a little high, but he is coming back from the injury. The 251 yards, 
that's Dak. The 107.36, that's Dak. The 33.8 points per game, that's Dak. The 4-1 and one record, that's Dak. Now, <clears throat> let's go here on the third person we put in here, Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush, who I've said to me is our MVP because he saved the season because of the four games that he won. Without those four games, if he had pulled a Brandon Whedon, right now, we'd be four, four and seven. Yeah. Not real good. We'd be out of it. His completion percentage was 58.9 in a limited controlled offense. His touchdowns were five, half of what Dak had. And this is in five games. His interceptions, though, were less. He only had three. His yards per game were 191.2. His rating was an 83.84. His points per game was a 21.4 versus 33.8. And the record is the same. So when I hear everybody who's like, get rid of Dak and everything else. Yeah, Dak... Stunk up the place along with everybody week one against Tampa Bay. We shit the bed. We just did. We shit the bed. You can't look at that game and said that we did anything right in it. But in his time coming back, Cowboys have the number one scoring offense by far, by almost four points. And I don't know what more that people think you can get out of a quarterback. I think the expectations are just unobtainable. You, you need to go out? Hold on. There you go. At some point, I don't think it matters what Dak does, that the results that people are looking for don't exist they don't exist that it doesn't matter that you're just going to hate just to hate and even though we are seeing something that the commanders would kill for the colts you don't think they would kill for you don't think that right now the denver broncos or the texans or the colts or probably most teams right now would kill for um. Yeah, I, I just don't know what it is that people look and say he's not the one. Noodle arm, he sucks. He just uh, and, and the whole premise of you know the talent around him, and, and now it's of course no, it's the running game. It's the running game. If it weren't for the running game, you know Dak. Oh, it's like okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we'll talk about this more tonight at nine o'clock Eastern. I hope. Uh, We'll see you here, and we'll be, you know, relaxing this weekend because we got a victory, and we're ahead of the curve. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you. Peace.